welcome to fifth grade, chapter nine, lesson three. We're going to go ahead and get started with number one, actually. Um, so they filled out the chart for us, and it just wants us to write the ordered pair. So all we're going to do is do our parentheses, and then top, then bottom, okay? So top, then bottom. Top, then bottom. Top, then bottom. And top, then bottom. Okay? So now, it says, how would the ordered pairs be different if the outdoor temperature was recorded every hour for four consecutive hours? Okay? So, It wants to know so instead of one, three, five, seven, and nine, the temperature would be recorded. At hours one, two, three, and four. That's it, guys. That is literally all it is. Okay. Also, it wants us to graph the order of pairs, which we can totally do. Remember, over then up. Okay. So it's already done one and 61 for us. Okay. So it's already done one and 61. And it's already done three and 65. So I'm going to go ahead and do five. And obviously these aren't labeled for our exact numbers. We just have to do the best that we can. Okay. And 71. Okay. So seven and 75. And nine. And 77, so it's just below there. Okay, that's it. That's all it is, guys. Okay, all right. So we're going to go down, and you guys are going to write the ordered pairs for these. Then you're going to plot them. Okay, and it says, What does the ordered pair 230 tell you about the number of windows repaired? Okay, that's it, guys. Okay, all right. So Go ahead and flip it over to the back. Okay. You guys are going to do the lesson check just like always. Okay. And we're going to go down and do the spiral review. Okay. Spiral review says a restaurant chain ordered 3,940 pounds of rice in 20 pound bags. About how many 20 pound bags of rice did the chain order? So we're going to go. 20 into 3, 9, 4, 0. Okay. And we're going to go 20 is not going to go into 3, but it'll go into 39 once. 1 times 20 is 20. Subtract. We're going to get 19. Okay. Now, 19 is less than 20, so I can bring down my 4. Now, 194. So we're going to go. 10, 20, 30, 40, sorry, no, we're not. We're going to go 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and then we're going to go 20, 40, 60, 80, but we can't do another 100, so it's going to be nine times, okay? So nine, and that's going to give us 180, subtract, and we're going to get 14, okay? So now... We are going to, 14 is less than 20, so I can bring down that last zero, okay? Well, 20 goes into 100, we just said five times, and then we're going to go 20, 40 for 140, okay? So that's seven times. So seven times 20 was 140, track it zero, okay? So the 197, but it says about how many? Well, we're going to round 197 to 200. 
So about 200 bags. Okay, all right. The population of London is 12 times as great as the population of Elmore. Combined, the population of both towns is 9,646 people. What is the population of Linton? All right, well, let me grab some scrap paper here. Because we're going to do some division. Okay. And we're going to go. Okay, so we have Linton. And we're going to do Elmore first. Sorry, we're going to do Elmore and then we're going to do Linton. Okay. So it says if Elmore has one block, then Linton has 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. And all together, they have 9,646. Okay. So we need to take 9,600, oh, sorry, 646, and we're going to divide that by the number of blocks we have. Well, we have 12 here and one here, so that's by 13. Okay. So now, I'm going to use my handy dandy calculator to just get my multiples of 13 because I only know up to about 39. Okay. Okay. So we have 13, 26, 39. Notice I'm using my calculator, but only for my multiples. I am not using it for my math. Okay. Okay, let's stop there for now and see how we do, okay? So, all right. So, 13 is not going to go into 9, placeholder, okay? Oops, sorry, you guys can't see that. All right, 13 will go into 96. The closest we're going to get is 91, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times, okay? And that was 91, okay? Subtract, we're going to get 5. So five is definitely smaller than 13, so we can bring down our four, okay? The closest we're going to get to 54 is 52. One, two, three, four times. Four times 13, 52. Subtract, and we're going to get two, okay? So now we're going to bring down our six, and 26 is just two times, okay? So now that means that each one of these boxes is worth 742, okay? Each one of them, okay? So now it wants to know what the population of Linton is. So the one that has 12 boxes with 742 in each one, okay? Now we're going to come right here and we're going to go 742, and we're going to multiply that by 12, okay? Sorry, it's kind of sideways on you. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 7 is 14, okay? We are going to tick, which we don't have anything, but that's okay, tack, toe, and then 1 times 742, so I'm just going to write 742, we're going to add that up, okay? 4, 10, carrier 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 4 more is 9, and 1 plus 9. Seven is eight. So eight thousand nine hundred and four people. Okay. And you don't have to write these down, but you do have to, and you don't have to write your multiples down, but you do have to write both of those down. Okay. So show your work, pause it, go back to it. Everything you do, show your work. Okay. And Make sure you've got your answer written in and labeled, okay? Make sure that you label it, word problem, word answer, okay? All right, Timothy needs a half cup of bread crumbs for a casserole and a third cup of bread crumbs for topping. How many cups of bread crumbs does Timothy need? Well, so one half plus one third, and we are working with fractions, so we need to have a common denominator, okay? Oops, I can't see that again, sorry. Okay, 
So now the common denominator between two and three is going to be six. So I'm going to have six, six, six. My denominator is going to stay the same. Okay. So now I had to multiply two by three to get to six. So I need to multiply the top by three because whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. Three times one is three. I had to multiply the three by two, so I'm going to multiply the top by two, and one times two is two. So now I just have to do three plus two, and that's five six. So five six of a cup. Okay. All right. Jesse bought three t-shirts for six dollars each, and four t-shirts for five dollars each. What expression can you use to describe what Jesse bought? Well, she bought three t-shirts for six dollars and four t-shirts for five dollars that's your expression guys that's it it's that easy okay thanks for hanging out for 9.3 come on back for 9.4 